guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all keeping well and safe so excuse the disheveled look because i'm actually um about to run some errands one of which is to uh, and it absolutely breaks my heart um to tell you this is to send my little guy back to louis vuitton for repairs um, so I thought I'd just jump on quickly to give you the full story. Um, for those of you who saw my um, Instagram story will know um, what has happened. Um, but for those of you who don't, let me fill you in. So basically a few days ago, I discovered a tear on the top here. I don't know if you can see. Um, I'll insert some photos, but you can see here there's a, a tear. And honestly, when I saw this, it was almost as if time just completely stood still. It was just like, <gasps> because I honestly had no idea how it happened. Um, although I'm not somebody who babies my bags necessarily, but I definitely am not somebody who abuses my bags neither. And although, you know, I have used her almost on a daily basis ever since I bought her, what, like a year and a half, two years ago, or just under two years ago, um, I've always been, you know, sort of fairly careful. And so I, I honestly had no idea how this happened. And so, of course, the natural reaction was I blamed myself. Did I do something? Um, because I hadn't used her for a couple of days, so I just left her on my chair. And then all these thoughts came to mind, like, did my cat, you know, get to her? Did, did my boy sit on her by accident? Whatever, you know, I had all these thoughts. And then, I, because I honestly could not figure out how the heck I could get a tear like this. You know, you can see right there. I I honestly could not figure out how it happened. So, of course, I was really, really upset. I was just devastated. And what I tried to do was I got some super glue and, and a toothpick. And I tried to just kind of dip the toothpick in the glue and, and just in between the slot and try to hold it together. And it kind of worked for about, you know, two minutes. And then it kind of started... Um, coming undone again so I thought okay well this is not going to work because I think that the canvas is just a little bit too heavy or maybe um, I just you know wasn't using um, a strong enough glue whatever but I just didn't want to kind of risk making more of a mess and um, so when I put up the um, my Instagram story a number of my youtube friends so thank you thank you to all my youtube friends who reached out to me um mary mari um kimmy <laughs> uh andrew uh gwenny um you know they all reached out and um amongst a, a lot of other friends so uh yeah and they, they gave me advice they and and i said well you know i have contacted um, Louis Vuitton client services because of course I don't live anywhere near an LV store so it's just impossible for me to just suddenly you know make a, a long trip down to London um, and of course I didn't buy this directly from LV I bought it from um, uh, the consignment website called Huey or hardly ever warning it's called and so this came from the Netherlands um, and so I wasn't sure, like, whether they would still repair for me or, or what the process was going to be, because it's not something, you know, I've really experienced before. Whereas in the past, when I did buy a bag that had a defect, when I bought my Pochette Matisse and, and I noticed that there was um, a nick in the leather, um, I was able to deal with my essay directly got the bag sent back and they just sent me a brand new one but this time because I didn't buy this directly from them I wasn't sure how it was gonna work 
And what I was reminded by um, also was, especially by Kimi and Murray and Gwenny, was that this was, this is actually a known defect and it's not necessarily something that I've done that caused the, the tear, um, but it's a known defect in the canvas and that's why they kind of changed because this is the older version. So the newer version is that the zip is on the outside. It's not kind of em embedded into like this lip. This lip. And um, so anyway, I had contacted LVE client services and they said, well, um, because I didn't buy it directly from the store, um, it wouldn't help me going to a store personally anyway. So she suggested that I should just simply download the Louis Vuitton app on my phone and from within the app i can actually make an application it's i think they call it distant repair application and i can just do it online so she sort of ran through the steps with me and so that was what i did i downloaded the app went into the section which said um something like you know get get a quote for a repair something like that and i had to take a number of pictures which of course i did uploaded all the pictures um and then um within actually it was quite quick it was within about a couple of hours i heard back from them and they gave me a quote which was to change the what they said was they would change the um zipper gusset and the body lining and the cost of that would be 380 pounds british pounds 380 pounds so, okay, I mean, I thought it was, I mean, it was actually less than I thought it would be, but it's still costly, you know. But what I didn't really understand was how they could just change the zipper gusset, because when they said zipper gusset, I thought they meant just like this strip here at the front. Whereas, as you can see, the top is actually one big piece of canvas, right? Um... So I couldn't figure out, well, how the heck are they going to just change this front bit? So anyway, they said if I had any um, further questions or if I wanted to discuss the quote, then I could just ring up um, the care expert. Um, so because it was sort of fairly late in the evening, so I waited till yesterday morning. So this has all, all happened over the course of the last few days. So I caught up yesterday morning and spoke to the care expert and I, you know, wanted to find out exactly, you know, what they meant by the zipper gusset. And she said, and she actually explained to me that they would actually change this whole piece right there. And she said, oh, well, you know, the bag is going to come back looking new. And I said, well, the thing is, it's a reverse monogram. So can you guarantee that you will definitely still use the reverse monogram canvas? Because obviously this, um, Palm Springs Mini in the reverse mono is discontinued, so you, you can no longer get it. And she guaranteed that they would still definitely use the reverse mono. Um, and they would actually change the, the whole piece here, not just the front. And then I asked her, I said, look, you know, I have been quoted the £380 for the repairs. And, you know, while I understand that, you know, there is a lot of work that goes into the repair. However, I do feel that since this is a known defect um, and it's also the reason why the design was changed um, to the, the new version. Is there any chance that this could be repaired for free? Bearing in mind that, you know, it's a very expensive piece for a small bag and I would expect, you know, paying so much for um, a bag that I would expect the durability to be better than this, you know, because I've not had it for that long. And she said, well, you know, I absolutely agree with you that if it's a known defect, um, then really the repairs should be carried out for free. But she said in this instance, the expert who assessed the photographs basically felt that the way the tear happened um it wasn't like it, it wasn't basically in line with um their kind of known defect um i don't know i mean basically that's what she said so um 
so they felt that you know it wasn't um because of the bag's natural defect that the tear happened that it was probably through my usage or or maybe that something had happened that caused this and then she said look rest assured once they once i send the back the bag in and they assess it again um she said from her experience a lot of the times that they might actually revise the price of the repairs that it would probably end up being less than what i have been quoted although you know she said she couldn't guarantee that that would happen but she just said from her experience that's usually the case um and that i just had to trust the process so at that point really i kind of had a two options one was just to continue arguing um and just disputing the fact that okay well i believe that you know you say it's not a known uh, that it is a known defect but that this was not the reason for it um and i could continue to to dispute this or i could just accept that okay this has happened crap happens and it is what it is um, and just send it in, get it repaired because, you know, I was already stressed enough because this is, really is my favorite bag um, so far. You know, I have a lot of favorites among my collection, but I think this definitely takes top place and I have never, ever regretted buying her at all. And I've used her constantly and she's been so, she's served me so well. And the fact that it is now a discontinued bag. It's not like I could just simply sell her the way that she is now and then just buy another one. Because although, yes, there are um, similar bags, um, you know, the reverse mono available for sale on the pre-love market, but the prices are just crazy now. Um, you know, the prices are now far more than what it was originally at retail. So... I just thought, well, am I going to continue quibbling over the cost of the repair or am I just going to, you know, kind of grin and bear it and accept that it is what it is. And, you know, life is too short to continue getting stressed about this. So I kind of decided, OK, well, you know what, if they are prepared to replace the whole top canvas and make it like new and in fact, it might even turn out better because you can see that, you know, I, the only thing that I wasn't too happy was the alignment here, right, on the sides that is not totally lined up. And so if whilst they're doing the repairs, if they can actually rectify that, then, hey, you know, maybe it's a good thing. So I don't know. I mean, she promised me that the bag's going to come back looking brand new. It's going to take 12 to 15 weeks, which is like, you know, I don't know how I'm going to be without her for over three and a half months. But like I said, um, you know, these things happen and, and I just have to to accept that um, and just not get stressed about it. So this is what it is. So anyway, I accepted the quote online via the app. And then very, very quickly afterwards, they sent me the packing slip and the shipping label and so on so this is what's going to happen today i'm gonna pack her up and um, stick the shipping label on the box drop it to my local ups and just have to wait patiently for her to come back to mommy <laughs> so that's it you know um this is just an update for you guys on what's been happening and uh so when she comes back i will of course do um an updated video to show you the results but for now um please join me in saying goodbye to this little one for the next 12 to 15 weeks <laughs>